I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera. What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel. If it's your first time, you are now watching your boy Built by Ray. If you haven't, please consider like, yes, comment, sir. and subscribe. Please. Don't forget to click the bell notification OBS right so you can be updated See, when we drop new videos. Leave slack. us a comment down below. Nice Good or bad is always thing. welcome. Of course Only hit LS that thumbs down button if you're a hater. They were out picking up a few vehicles for a show and then disassembling this LS engine. So stay tuned. We're going to go ahead and jump right into it. If you haven't, please head on over to www.buildbyray.com. Anything purchased on the website will go towards helping the channel grow. What's up, guys? We're back with another one. As you can see, we got stuff all piled up. The point of getting the land was to clear this stuff out, but we still got stuff piled up in the yard. But the main focus of the day is this 6.2 engine right here. We're going to be tearing this thing down, getting it to the machine shop so that we can get some new cam bearings pressed in there. We're going to go through, refresh everything, uh, try to get this thing back assembled. This thing was installed in the homie car. Uh, it was running perfectly fine, but after a while, it started losing oil pressure once it heats up. So you guys know about LSs, man. They always... A thing with the oil pressure so we're gonna see what we could do to get this thing back functioning right and correct for him so that he can uh get it back in the car and enjoy that thing so we're gonna go ahead and jump right into it start tearing this thing down All right, guys, so what we're doing here is taking the lifters out. We're gonna remove these, we're gonna uh, clean them up. These are brand new. Uh, he actually just put these in there. Haven't even driven the car uh, since he put the motor in with the new lifter. So we're gonna clean these up and uh, get these prepared to go right back in. So we're gonna just go over everything and inspect uh, the all the parts before we reassemble it but the main thing today is we're going to be uh, getting this thing disassembled so that we can get over to the machine shop get this thing hot tank and uh get the new cam bearings installed All right guys, so we just got the oil pan off, as you can see right here, inside this oil pickup tube. I don't know if you guys can see that pretty clear, but uh, we got like some little uh, dirt and grind up in there. So we're definitely gonna uh, clean all that out because that could be interfering with the oil pressure. So we definitely wanna clean all this stuff out uh, really good so we're gonna go ahead and take this off and inspect the o-ring right here that goes to the uh, oil pump get this uh valley cover off it's the windage tray we're gonna get this windage tray uh removed once we get the windage tray removed then we'll be able to access the bolts for the uh pistons to get the pistons removed and the end caps to get the crank up out of here All right, guys, so in the process of removing the uh, windage tray at the bottom, what I did notice that this is smashed together. You can see right here, it's a little opening, which allows the oil to fall back down into the oil pan so that it could get sucked back up uh, through the pickup tube. Right here, it's smashed down to where it's actually touching, which it doesn't supposed to be like that. So it's like a little dent in there which got that gap closed up. So um, that definitely could be an issue right there. Not saying that it's stopping a lot of the oil, but it's definitely uh, restricting the flow a little bit from the oil falling back to the pan. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, check 
that out. We'll definitely get that swapped out or open that back up so that we can have the oil flowing the proper way. Then we're gonna go ahead and start removing this uh, rear cover right here for the where the rear main seal is. We're gonna get that removed so that would uh, be able to allow the crank to come down. This is the one for the uh, front timing chain cover. Don't believe I have the pulley, but we're gonna see if we can still maneuver this thing up out of there. Then I'll get the pulley and remove it later. All right, guys, so we just got this first end cap off of the number one piston, as you can see. We got like a little metal shaving or something right there. Definitely uh, wear marks on the bearing. Let's see if you can see it on the camera, but that little piece right there is a piece of metal shaving. I'll go ahead and grab a magnet and see if you can see it remove off of there. So looking at that little part right there, we're gonna put the magnet right there, see if it pulls it away. Definitely stuck on the magnet, so that's definitely not good, but we're gonna be replacing all the bearings and everything in this uh, motor to get this thing refreshing. So let's go ahead and uh, slide this piston out. Then we're gonna put the end caps back on. We're gonna mark everything and go from there. All right, guys, so, so we just got the end cap down. So you can see right here, this bearing right here have a big gap in between it. So that definitely could be affecting the oil pressure. This motor was working in the other vehicle that he took it out of before he put it inside the Camaro. But I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera. There's a big gap in between that and the end cap. So something's definitely going on right there. As we've seen the metal shavings on the other number one cylinder. This is only the number three cylinder right here. So we're going to continue to take all these off and get everything sorted out. So we could get the block to the machine shop though. And then we'll go over all these other parts and inspect them. All right, guys. So we didn't uh, got five pistons out. Now we're at the number six piston. We've taken this one out, but you can see right here, this bearing then spun inside of the uh, connecting rod. So it's a little line right here. Let's so fucking get something to point to it. But this part right here is supposed to be flush with the connecting rod, but it didn't spun inside of there on the crank. So it's not allowing us to come out on this end so we're gonna tap it a little bit and get it to come out as you can see this end cap right here you can see the little wear marks on there so this thing is definitely gonna have to uh get reconditioned before it get reassembled guys right, so this is the bearing from the number six cylinder i don't know if you can see the uh, wear marks inside of there but as we turn it around right here if you can see that it's actually uh 
wearing down all right here. You can see it didn't smash down and crush outside of the normal uh, thickness of it like this. It's actually smashed out on the edges a little bit more. All right, guys, so what we're doing now is removing the bolts out the front timer chain cover so that we can get this off. Like I said before, we don't have the pulley for this, so what we're going to do is loosen up all the bolts on the, on the crank and get the crank and everything to come out. Put this on there so we can get down to the uh, bare block so we can make it to the machine shop before they close. get it off maybe not because the believe the oil pump is still gonna be on there so it's gonna be in the way so we definitely gotta get this pulley uh that way we can get this off remove this front cover then we'll take the oil pump off once we remove the oil pump then we'll get the timing chain assembly off then we'll be able to pull the crank out went to the store we couldn't find ours but we got the puller we're going to use that to pull this front uh, harmonic balancer off. We got all the pistons up out of here. You see a little wear mark on the crank right there. Get all that cleaned up though, but got all the pistons right here laid out. Uh, after we get this removed, we're going to be able to get this cover all the way out of the way. Then we'll loosen up all these uh main bearings then we'll be able to take the crank out once we take the crank out we'll be able to get this thing back off the stand and head over to the machine shop all right guys so the oil pump is removed out of the way as you can see got a lot of little slack in the timing chain it's supposed to be a guy right here we're gonna go ahead and get this off and then we got the bolts loosened for the uh, end caps. We'll be able to remove those and pick the crank up out of there. What's up guys, next day here, we about to grab this camshaft up out of there. That's the last thing we got to take out. As you can see, we got this thing all bust down. There's nothing inside besides the camshaft. That's the only thing left. Then we'll be able to uh, take it back off of the stand. We got to remove this sensor right here. Once we get that out, man, we're going to hurry up and shoot over here and drop this thing off to the machine shop. We got a tow. So after that, We'll drop this off and head over to pick up the vehicle.
all right guys so we just uh got the motor off of the stand this thing is light as heck this is a uh, all aluminum block so we was able to pick this up with our bare hands as it is just the bare block so we're gonna get this thing loaded up drop this off to the machine shop and continue on with our day guys we just made it here we're about to get this nova loaded up on the trailer for my boy guru we're a little bit late but we're getting it going yeah. Yeah. Probably low on gas. Yep. No gas. gas station. No gas. Or pull it off and do it again. Let me push it off. Ah. Ain't got no gas in here. I swear to God, I put like $30 in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, nah, I should go put the gas in there. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Hey, buddy! <laughs> hey, buddy! You did it! Hey, put it all the way up. Break, break, and then put it all the way up. There you go. I'm gonna go to a gas station and put some uh, gas in the can real quick. Try again, motherfucker. Try again, motherfucker. Uh, when there's a ray, there's a way. Do not. Yup. There you go, buddy. You still recording? Um, I'm gonna go to a gas station and get a can real quick. Alright. We'll get this thing locked down on here real quick. We're running a little bit late. We actually got pulled over. By the highways, but it just gave us a ticket. Could have been worse, but we're still moving forward. We're gonna get this thing down. Then we're gonna be on our way. What's up, guys? We just pulled up. Oh my boy, we was about to be picking up another car, but we seen this clean OBS right here. Sitting on the rooties, man. Y'all see what's going on? Yes, sir. Nice clean paint job on this thing. Of course, it's LS Walk. Show y'all this front grill, then we're gonna get back into that motor. Got my boy Jesse over at Fast Lane Performance and Hector at Next Gen. Do a little close up details on that motor. Got the LS3 in this thing with the engine cover color matched with the truck. I'll see what's going on. Take y'all for a quick peek to the inside. Bed, everything is nicely done. Nice, clean interior. Dashboard, everything got the steering wheel matching. See that Rucci Forge on there. Sunroof with the sway headliner. Dash is nice and clean. Now y'all ready for it? Yes, sir. This thing is a stick shift, man. Got the TR660 in this thing with the LS3. Y'all see them three pedals right there? Hey, I need to talk to you about something. Yes, sir. And it's a little walk around. Y'all see the light reflecting off of that paint, man. Nice candy paint. This thing is nice and clean, man. Everything being touched. Fresh weather stripping all the way around. All right, guys. So we about to uh, get a quick sound clip. We got the key. up on the 
some gauges. Y'all see it. Aftermarket gauges and all that. guys next day here we just made it to the machine shop about to be grabbing the lot they got it all nice and clean for us with the fresh bearings inside of there yes sir how you doing Pretty good. i get this thing loaded up this thing in the car fresh cam bearings in that joint all the way through so now i'm gonna clean up the rest and then uh Get this thing reassembled. All right, guys. So we all set to go. Got the new bearings, main bearings, and uh, bearings for the connecting rods. So put this thing back together. Good. Uh, here we getting this thing offloaded came back and picked it up it is raining this thing is all done got the ls in there man we just took it to the exhaust shop picked it back up about to offload this thing 